Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to the Shining Force Combat Only Let's Play. Yes, I finally got it right. Like, I, I always say battle only at the start, and then remember at the end that it's combat only. Anyway, so yes, uh, Andre has joined the group. I've, I also ran around this monastery and also got turned into a chicken. That's a cool story. Anyway, we're going down into this cave and fighting some skeletons, I think. Uh, also, I had a funny little incident. Uh... So yeah, we have to go to this. Yes, we, this is the. Th uh, we have to uh, uh, defeat the monsters in this cave first. And I don't think I want to sacrifice Tao yet. Uh, so let's see. Uh, zombies. Oh god. Well, I don't. Think I, I actually don't think I don't have, to have too many guys who are good against the zombies. Yeah, no, Hans is completely useless right now. Yeah, so, and also I had a really funny fuck-up in the... I was about to start recording, and because I'm standing in front of the beast, I was doing the, um, sync-up. I don't know, sometimes you hear me go, like, bling in the videos, like, that's sometimes, you know, the rare occasion that I've decided, uh, not to, uh, do the normal sync, you know, I, I, that I've left the sync in. Usually I... Oh god, I think I'm about to die already at the start. This was a poor move on my part. Okay, no, I guess we just gotta keep attacking the zombie, but, uh, I already fucked up. Yeah, no, th these zombies are fucking tough. Okay, okay, that is, that is not good. That is the opposite of good. I, I should have sent Tao ahead after all. I immediately screwed this up. Alright, and I cannot, uh, and I cannot even, like, leave the fight. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, this is, this is a perfect, this is a great start, isn't it? Man. In fairness, I do think it's a bit bullshit that the zombies are directly blocking my path. Like, I have no clue. So, yeah, sorry, Gong is still here. I did check, but, uh, yeah. We still need a few more party members before, uh, we can kick Gong out of the group. So, yeah, so, I was doing the, 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 the I was doing the sync up. Which is where I normally go, like, uh, bling when I press a button, and uh, in this it's always been, oops, okay. And normally the, the way I do the sync up is, um, that I, 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 um, okay, I'll put Henri here. I don't know what spells Henri has. Let's see if Dicker uh, bites it. It might be the shortest battle we've had up to now. Okay, I guess, I guess, uh, Dickert can survive, unless this guy crits. Let's see. No, he didn't crit. Okay. So the th so the th way I do the sync in this is that I open the menu and I close the menu. I use that as the sync. But I was standing in front of the priest, and of course, because it's the start of the session, I'd forgotten the buttons again. So, damn it. All right, let's back off. Let's back off, and I'll let Tao do her. Uh, I really don't want to do this because, frankly, uh, even though this is probably going to kill off the zombie now, it, it did indeed. It did indeed. It did. Now she's open to attack. And, well, Gort can get over there now. Oh, actually, May can take out the, uh, the, the Dark Mage. Because that's the one we really need to get rid of. I hope Hans can get over there as well. He, he can actually, uh, no, Hans can only attack the zombie, but whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll get. And, uh, yeah. I forgot that this little cave battle happened here. This actually might be the first, like, really tough battle because there's a lot of monsters and you don't have a lot of room to maneuver. Can I not? I, I seriously, I cannot. I, I, come, I can't get closer to the zombie than this. Uh, I mean, the zombie's on the bridge. <laughs> yeah, my weapons are getting too weak. I, I, I seriously, the next time we're in town, I gotta check if we get if we can get any better weapons because the zombies are really tough. Granted, the, uh, the skeletons, I actually don't think are as tough by comparison. And the dark mages are, like, you know, just pudding, basically. And then we're gonna get blazed. <laughs> oh, boy. Damn it. Is there is there any room next to the zombie? Gord, I, the thing I want to get, I want to get Gord over there so he can finish off the zombie, hopefully. Okay, maybe the b big one. That's fair. I, we haven't died that much. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Please, Tao. Please, Tao. Survive. Oh, God, yes. Okay. But Tao has to back up. Like, fucking Gong, are you serious? No, I don't. Fucking stay there. Yeah. 
This isn't too bad. Like I, I was actually trying to say in a previous episode, I just never really had the chance. Uh, that later on, there's a couple of are battle arenas where that are just humongous, and most of the fight it, it actually it actually takes the most of the fight it takes. Uh, you spend more most of the fight just moving your troops towards each other, which is really frustrating. I really don't like this. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Gord can't go over there. Uh, do you have an item you could use to heal? Um, nope, of course not. Well, shit my pants. I guess I'll move him here. Oh, but you can heal, uh, Tau. You might as well, because that, that, that's the only, only useful thing you know how to do, low. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, so that was the part, that was the only part in this game I remember where I actually started to get a little bit, uh, annoyed with, annoyed with the game because, um... Because, indeed, um... The, 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 the um... It's, about, it's right about, like, the middle part of the, of the game, um... Uh, and there were a couple of really bad, like what? There, there's a couple of maps that were genuinely just really big, but then uh, there were also a couple of uh, maps where you like spend a lot, where, where there's a lot of forests around. And as I showed in the previous episode, the terrain affects how uh, fast your troops can move. And almost none of the troops are good uh, at uh, running around in the, uh, you know, the for, you know, the forest. So. It takes forever to move your characters close to the enemies, and then when the enemies are already some distance away, that is that is really frustrating. All right, so I'm really worried about these bats. There's there's a there's quite a lot of them. Um, okay, maybe I'll, I'll take a little bit of distance here because I want somebody else to. Yeah, because he's definitely yeah. Ken's not gonna take care of that zombie. I, I know that. All right, it's Henri's turn. Henri does know Blaze. I might as well use it because I think Henri is not going to be very useful in these first few uh, fights. And it's also funny because uh, I, I've used that automatic. I, I sometimes like to watch some of my videos with like the automatic captions to see like, well, you know, to see how how good my pronunciation is sometimes. And I've noticed that every single time I've said Henri on this show. Uh, on the series, uh, it always spells it as Henry, as in as in uh, me saying the name Henry, but like you know, uh, oh, uh, uh, Luke got poisoned. Ah uh, well. Oh wait, no. Uh, I, I want to finish these guys up. So uh, every time, so like I was saying the name Henry, but like in French. <laughs> This this fight I, I do say this has got to be the lamest fight in the game because this is this is basically like all the fights in Shining Force Two. They're like I that's I said I said that in a previous episode already, but yeah, that's the thing I hated about Shining Force Two was like all the fights were in a fucking cave or something. I'm not leveling up as fast as I thought I would. Like it, it's it's really taking it's really taking a sweet time because uh, I really I would want to get a few promotions going because. It would be nice to uh, have the characters, like, the sprites change, and Hans just bit the big one, and we're gonna have to pause it. You know, with Deckard, it's always like, I, I don't really know what the hell to do with him half the time. Okay, I don't want to send Tao out yet, so uh, I'm gonna just leave a little bit of room. Luke is currently keeping the bridge open. That's good. <laughs> and no, I don't want to send Henri over either. I, 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 come on. Give me one of the other guys. Fine, I guess I'll send Ken over. Well, the bats are gonna gang rape him now. Oh, he leveled up. Okay. Well, I can take a little bit of a beating then, that's good. So yeah, actually, I bought something uh, exciting today. I bought one of those Jackie Chan uh, movie boxes. And the thing is, it does have a couple of movies that I already own, like Winners of Sinners and Heart of a Dragon. But it's also, uh, it's one of those, co it, that collection also includes the sequels to the Winners and Sinners movies, but, which are the uh, My Lucky Star series, if you will. But uh, that's not the reason I bought it. The reason I bought it was actually because it has a movie called The Protector, and I'm actually really curious to see it, because The Protector, in case you don't know, that's the movie Jackie made in 84, I want to say, and um, it was supposed to be, what it was, it was supposed to be uh, Jackie's second uh you know, uh, uh, attempt at breaking into American cinema. 
So it was directed by an American director. The director, uh, <laughs> I, I forget his name, but uh, he directed uh, this uh, B movie called The Exterminator, which has nothing to do with the Terminator. It's it's it's. Um, uh, it, it, the, the all, listen, I gotta be honest, I've never watched it, so the only thing I know is that there, there's a cover, and on the cover there's a guy wearing a, a, a motorcycle helmet with a flamethrower. <laughs> That's all I know about that movie. Anyway, the, thing, the, the other thing, the, so the Protector, he was hired to direct the Protector, and he was hired specifically because they wanted to give the movie kind of an American flair. So they thought that that was a good way to go. And Jackie absolutely hated that movie. Uh, he hated it so much, in fact, that there's... It's, it's one of those... It's unfortunately one of those Hong Kong movies that has, like, multiple versions. I think there's, like, at least three, like, major versions of that movie. So, uh, first there's the American version. And I haven't seen it yet. I, I am, I'm planning to, but... Uh, so the thing is, like, what the thing that kind of went awry with that movie is that they were trying to make Jackie into kind of like a Dirty Harry character, I, I believe. So the movie's supposed to have like a lot of swearing and stuff like that, and Jackie carries a gun, obviously. And uh, and that, of course, is not at all like Jackie's like image, you, you, as anyone who has watched a Jackie Chan movie knows. <laughs> so Jackie hated that movie so much that what he did then was... Um, um, was... was um, yeah, I'm gonna heal Gong. It's not gonna do much good, but you know, might as well get some experience. So, um, uh, so there was the American version that they filmed and released, but Jackie then re I think like recorded some extra footage uh, and he cut out some of the more lurid uh, parts of the of the movie out. Uh, so he did that. Uh, Okay, I guess I can heal uh, Gordon. I just, I just want these guys to get XP. That's the only reason. Um, and released the, uh, a different version for Hong Kong. And then uh, there is an international version. I don't know exactly how it is different from either the Hong Kong or the uh, the American version. But basically, uh, all three versions of that movie bombed. Like none of them did very well. And Protector is the reason, uh, because Jackie played a cop in that, Protector is the reason why uh, then um, Jackie made the, uh, the movie Police Story. So Police Story is kind of meant to be the, uh, you know, the kind of a... Uh, <laughs> oh, Gong's a f Gong fell asleep. Well, whoop-de-doo. <laughs> my, mo my most useless uh, party member is out of the game. Temporarily. Uh, so there, there's that. Oh, crap. Okay, two party members are now uh, asleep. Um, but they don't block each other, so that's good, at least. Oh, but I should have moved Ken back a little bit before I attacked. Um, okay, I guess... Uh... Wait, who was poisoned? Luke's poisoned. Ah, but I can't get to Luke, so... Uh... Sucks to be him. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep, you know, <laughs> healing Gort. I mean, it doesn't matter. I, I when I get up to the freaking Dark Mages, I'm I'm either gonna kill them straight away, or you know, or I'm gonna fill this battle. I mean, it, it's it legit, it legit does not matter one I one bit if I if I can heal them because it's very early on. Like you're you're gonna you're usually gonna kill like the. The, the regular mook enemies, as they are called. Uh, wait, you can't do... Yeah, you can. Oh, no, no. Okay, come back here. Sorry, I had to do... I had to rewind again, because fuck... For fuck's sake, that is so annoying that... That you can accidentally, like, you know... Without thinking, you can accidentally, like, end your turn like that. Okay, Luke, Luke got his recovery. There aren't any enemies down there, are they? I, I, I thought for a... Honestly, I, I, I thought for a spell that there were. But I just noticed that the camera hasn't moved down there e even once, so... Yeah, no. Alright. Can Ken uh, take care of this bad? No, he can't, because he can't hit shit. 
Oh, shit. Okay. But yeah, I can come at the Dark Mages from two sides. Gord is still asleep. Come on, Luke. Fuck up this bat so we can get out, get out of here. Oh my god, guys! Come on! Jesus fucking Christ for this nonsense. Okay, now you can use your uh, detox. Well, that's good. We we get more experience this way. Jesus Christ! I can't believe we're stuck on we're stuck fighting this goddamn bat still. Now he's gonna make Dickard full asleep, huh? No, good. Thank you. Does not. Yeah. Okay, I, I'll, I'll I'll leave Chris behind and I'll just move Dickard up here. Okay. Come on, Gong, stop being useless. Hit the fucking bat. You can do it. Yes, finally. Jesus Christ. All right, here comes the uh, dark mages. I don't dare go too close yet. I, I I want one of my melee guys to be ne near them. Okay. Uh, no, Ken can't attack from that far away. And neither can Luke. And I'm gonna just... Uh, wait, yeah. Let's not be too hasty, though. I, I'm gonna keep... And no, you do not go over there. You do not go over there. Da -da -ver -ver -ver. Okay, time to blaze it. <laughs> All right, and we pause it. All right. Uh, whoops. Okay, did that, did that again. Okay. Let's see if I can fuck up this dark mage. Almost. God damn it. Yeah. Gotta wait for a bit. Yeah, I knew it. They were. They're not fucking around. Oh, wow. Omri had, had, had no hit points at all. Okay, Gong is here. Never, never fear, Gong is here. Alright. Luke took a bit of a beating there, but, uh. Oh, crap. There's a third. Oh! Okay. That dumbass didn't attack. That's good. I can, uh. Take up this dark mage. I crit it! Are you shitting me, Ken? You you crit on the weakest fucking enemy. I would say that's hilarious, but that's, no, that's actually kind of terrible because you know. Okay. Uh, I'm trying. The the reason I'm maneuvering these guys kind of carefully is because. I don't want to do that thing that I always do where I just bunch them all up and then the Dark Mage manages to use a spell on a bunch of them. I mean, eventually you will run into enemies who know how to do, like, big aerial spells that affect, like, multiple characters at the same time, regardless of where they stand. I'm gonna take a first crack at this skeleton and see just how, what's he, what's he made of. Oof, those are some tough bones. He, uh, barely felt a tickle there. Damn it. Okay, I, I, I've, I've, uh, I've uh, goofed a little bit. Okay, so but it does look like the skeleton doesn't attack until you're like right up to him. Wh speaking of which, I'm gonna attack the skeleton now because that's the thing you can do. Yeah, L Luke is uh, fucking MVPing this right now. <laughs> yeah, there's not a, not a whole lot to this. Oh, hey, Luke gets to whack this mage with with his, you know, staff. Yay! Low, leveled up. Cool. Excellent. That's wonderful. Okay. And actually, when I said in an earlier episode that we're gonna have a fight that's basically the reverse of that one that we did in the desert, I'm not actually sure if that is true. I might have been misremembering, but I do seem to recall possibly that that's something we might have to do. Okay, uh... Time to blaze it! Oh, I could have probably. Hey, okay. I wish it'll last on my spell points though. <laughs> I could have. I I, the, I. I really didn't need to use that much spell power. I could have finished him off with just the. 
I, I, I really could have finished him up easily with just the um, level one blaze. Oh Jesus! It's gonna get crowded here. I re this is this is something I do remember. This was really annoying, but like you you, uh, you have the skeleton like hold up in here. <laughs> there we go. Skeleton's defeated, and that is the end of this. Um, no, it cannot be after all these centuries. Yeah, so, okay, so it's time for some story business. Thank you for watching the battle portion of this. Uh, uh, when we come back, let's see if it, if it is the desert fight or not. So see you then. Bye.